Good morning. This is a meditation on calmness and fear around COVID-19. I want to base this on the work of Tara Brock, who is an American psychologist and a widely respected teacher of Buddhist meditation. Brock defines fear as the feeling that something is wrong and that rather than facing it, we need to act to protect ourselves. In a recent interview, she talked about mindfulness and meditation around COVID-19 and how to handle the fear it evokes. In answer to the interviewer's question about looking for a way to avoid sinking into the panic vortex concerning the virus, Brock suggested that the first step when we get really gripped in fear is to calm our sympathetic nervous system. That's that fight or flight, you know, when you get uh, and the adrenaline starts moving around. A simple way to do this is with long, deep breaths. When you take at least three full breaths, counting to five on the inhale and counting to five on the exhale. And with the exhale, you intentionally release tension, which is what Melanie does every time when we get started on our meditations. And that begins to calm down the nervous system. And so I think if you've ever done that, you know it's true. I mean, when you're breathing like that, you can't really think of anything else. You're just thinking of your breathing and concentrating on your breathing. And so nothing else kind of gets in there right then. She then said, we can also come back to the senses in our body. The sounds we're hearing in the moment. And we did a meditation using that one day, I remember. The sensation of our hands and feet, sometimes they're tingling, or maybe something that um, catches your I, you're, you know, a, a tree or, you know, for you, Allison, outside the tree or maybe the flowers or even the apple that Tori eats. So something that helps you come back to the present moment. Because if you know fear, you know, you start thinking and your thoughts just start ro tumbling and rotating and one thing leads to another and the fear just all of a sudden will get this grip on you. So bring your thoughts back to the present moment. So practicing gratitude is another intentional practice to celebrate goodness and avoid anxiety because when you are doing something good, you don't really have room to feel afraid. So among the techniques Brock discussed, she reminds us that in addition to the well-known form of meditation, wherein you sit down and close your eyes and focus on feeling your breath go in and out, you can also practice mindfulness when you're walking or uh, going grocery shopping or even uh, reading the news. You know, if you're mindfully thinking about what you're reading, you're not letting the fear come in because you are concentrating on the facts or the details of the story that you're reading. So unless it's just something really awful, you know, you're not going to let that fear grip you at the time because then you can actually think about what you're reading about and think through that fear. So um, she teaches that the true impact of meditation is that it actually dissolves our excessive sense of self. So when you're meditating, you're not thinking about yourself so much. You're thinking about how you fit within the connection of the universe and with everybody else. So it frees up our sense of connection with each other. And emphasizing heart practices such as loving kindness and compassion and gratitude, where we take time to appreciate the goodness of other people, is really critical to overcoming this feeling of fear. She adds that the single most important thing that can happen right now in this pandemic is that we feel our collectivity, which is what we talk about every day, that we're really here to help each other move through this. You know, we're in this together. That's all over the TV. If we, if we can find that inner refuge of calm, our calm is contagious. It will go out and it will... It can happen physically or it can happen metaphysically. It can happen in the conscious or the superconscious. But that calm just pervades and, and just goes out and surrounds everyone. So fear can become so overwhelming that we lose all sense of mindfulness, calm, and compassion, which is one reason why the, our daily meditations are so helpful. So today we're going to practice a meditation based on Tara Brock's RAIN method. That's R-A-I-N. And that stands for recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture. So if we're ready, we'll begin. 
So get comfortable in your chair or wherever you're sitting and close your eyes and become aware of your breathing. Take at least three full breaths, counting to five with the inhale and counting to five on the exhale. With the exhale, intentionally release all the tension from your body. So breathe in, breathe out, let your body relax, starting with your head and working down through your eyes, mouth, and chin. Breathe in, breathe out relaxing your shoulders and arms, your hands and fingers, your torso and your abdomen. Now breathe in and breathe out, releasing any stiffness in your legs, feet and toes. Now take three more breaths and become aware of the senses in your body the sounds you're hearing in this moment, the sensation of your hands or feet or your heart beating, anything that helps you be present in the moment. Take three more breaths in and out. And with each breath, intentionally think of inhaling a sense of calm. And with each out breath, let go of any intentional thoughts. Letting go of all sensations, you feel a total sense of looseness and relaxation. Your body is soft. So soft, you feel as though you are floating on air. Quietly enjoy these sensations of peace and lightness for a few moments. Now, <clears throat> listen inwardly to what wants attention and bring to mind the anxiety, fear, or concern that bothers you most. Recognize the feeling and admit to yourself that you are feeling anxious, afraid, or worried. Look at the feeling and remember the emotion cannot affect you. You are outside the fear for the moment and you are simply looking at the feeling. Allow the fear to just be there. Don't try to fix it or run away from it. Don't attempt to control it or judge it. Investigate it. Listen to your body and just feel where the fear is. Explore how it feels and breathe with it, with a gentle quality of attention. Try to identify the fear. When you can name a fear, it loses some of its power over you. Nurture the fear and let go of your attachment to it. Give permission to the fear to be there. You might say, thank you for trying to protect me. It's okay now. Maybe put your hand on your heart and offer a kind or soothing message to yourself. Say to the fear, I understand, and I hear your message. I release you now. Thank you for trying to protect me. It's okay now. Sit for a little while and let the fear dissipate. Become aware of your breathing, and as the fear recedes and dissolves, let your body absorb peace and calm. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When you are ready, come back to and be aware of your body. Open your eyes, move, shake your arms. Be mindful of your thoughts and choose to bring your thinking back to the present moment. two prayers for you. One of them is from Isaiah, and it's probably my absolute favorite. Hello! So this is how it goes. It says, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. The next one is called, well, I've named it. It's no name really, but I call it the Dawn Prayer. It was written actually by a colleague of mine, a classmate, who is, was at One Spirit with me. Her name is Reverend Margie, Margie Ann Stanko. She writes beautiful prayers. And this one is a good one for the first thing in the morning. It says, as I await the light of day, as I await the presence of warmth, as I await the sounds of others, as I await this night's farewell, awakening the world with dawn, let me stay one with the all, embraced by the goodness, sprinkled with grace, so that fear and hesitancy can slide off my awkward self, leaving in its wake a woman ready for today. Thank you for joining us on our morning meditation. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.